Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire Cartago and for this video, I will be talking about how to become a CPA here in Canada. So you're probably watching this if you are a CPA in your home country or if you're studying or just interested in becoming a CPA here in Canada. So I'll be discussing like a general overview of how to become a CPA. I'll be talking about the stages in becoming a CPA here in Canada. So basically, each and one of us has a different educational background, different credentials or work experiences. So my process of becoming a CPA might be different for you. But for this video, I will be discussing the whole procedure anyways for all of you guys to have an idea of how it works. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so let's take a look at the illustration on the screen right now. There's three stages. The first stage is becoming a student. So a student is someone who is enrolled in a program providing prerequisite courses. So one of the requirements for you guys to enter the second stage, the CPA PEP program, is to have an undergraduate degree in any area of studies. So it may not be necessarily like finance or accounting. So it could be in any area of study. And the second one is to have studied a specific area coverage specifically this 14 prerequisite courses that you will be seeing on the screen right now so as you can see they have six non-core courses and eight core courses so for the non-core courses they require at least 50 percent passing grade and for the other one 60 percent an average total of 65 percent passing rate for the core courses and some of you may wonder, especially if you've studied business ad or accounting program before, some of these courses you might have already taken. And so you might wonder, do I still have to take these courses? Before you have to be admitted at the CPA PEP program, they have to assess your transcript first, and then they will have to decide whether you still have to take these 14 prerequisite courses or maybe just five left or whatever it is that you are still lacking, depending on their assessment. So where can you take these 14 prerequisite courses? So if you are already here in Canada, you can either directly apply to CPA Canada, depending on which province you guys are staying. So the other option is for you to enroll at the post-secondary institution, either a part of a program or a degree. And that's actually something that I did when I was an international student here. So my program back at Langara College was eligible for the CPA PEP program. So the program or the courses that I took at Langara College has this 14 prerequisite courses. So you can actually do that and that is something that I will be discussing at the end of this video. So the other thing, if you don't have any degree, there's this thing called Mature Entrant Pathway. And it is basically designed for candidates who do not have a bachelor's degree but have substantial work experience that meets the CPA competency standards. So there you go. So let's talk about the second stage. So for the second stage, you will be a candidate. So a candidate is anyone enrolled in a CPA PEP program. So the CPA PEP program is basically a two-year level sorry, it's a two-year graduate level program who's studying for a CPA designation. So basically, after you've done all of these 14 prerequisite courses, you can now enter the CPA PEP program. So as you can see here, it consists of six modules. So as you can see on the chart, there's score one and two, followed by two electives, two capstones that lead to common final examination are known as CFE that you must pass. So the program itself takes at least two years on a part-time basis. Let's not forget that they do require a 30 month practical experience requirement. That practical experience requirement, you can either do that while you're on your CPA program or after your CPA program. Either way, you have to have that for you to get your CPA designation. As you can see on this chart, right? So they do require the CPA program at the same time you have to have the 30 month practical experience. So it takes quite a bit of a time and commitment for you to really get that CPA designation. But after you have obtained those requirements for the CPA program and the requirement program for the work experience, you can now be a member. And being a member is anyone who has met the education, experience, and examination requirements for CPA certification and has been formally accepted into membership by a provincially or regionally regulated CPA body. Another thing though is depending on where you guys will be living, you might want to check out your provincial or regional CPA website. So for example, if you're staying in 
British Columbia, you might, you might want to check out cpawsb.ca. Or if you're living in Ontario, you might want to check out cpaontario.ca. Regarding the post-secondary institution that I've mentioned earlier, wherein you can attend or take your 14 prerequisite courses if, if you are an aspiring international student and want to become a CPA in the future here in Canada. It's probably best if you will be taking a program that has this 14 prerequisite requirements and that would make you eligible to take the CPA PEP program. So yeah, to help you guys figure out where or which school to attend, I have made a video depending on provinces, cities, um, where you guys can take this 14 prerequisite courses that count towards a degree or a program. Um, I've made a video, so do check that out. I will be releasing them this month, I think. So that will be on the description box below. So personally, I attended Langara College for two years and then I took post degree in accounting and that program is eligible to the CPA PEP program. But again, as I've said earlier, they have to assess my transcript here in Canada or even my transcript back in the Philippines. So yeah, I know there were a lot of topics that I did not cover and that's just because I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. I just want you guys to have a general idea first of how it works. Anyway, I also have a video regarding my full-time job here in Canada. So if you just want to have an idea of how it works or a little bit like hear my story side of the things, so feel free to check that out as well. I'll be leaving everything on the description box below. Hopefully this video has been very helpful to you, otherwise, uh, otherwise I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video if you guys think this is useful, and follow all of my socials.